Hey folks, David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. You're looking at a chart of Opco Health, and this is a weekly chart. And um, I don't know the stock real well. I don't know the company at all. But what I do know, and I, I just look at charts all day, so I found this one, uh, heard it being bantered about. It's been hot lately. So um, never really, tra never did trade this one before. But the, the chart pattern got me to thinking that um, it was a good opportunity to kind of put out one of these two-minute lessons uh, that might help some folks out in the future. And so here we go. So I'm looking at the weekly chart, and the daily chart is really, you know, it's the same chart. It's just a longer version. But here's the same breakout point down here on the left, bottom left. So um, we'll look at the uh, we'll look at the daily chart, and what I'm going to show you is uh, uh, one way to just give yourself an opportunity to kind of say how high can something go. All right, let's go back to the weekly chart for a second and say, you know, when you look at something like this, you say, all right, if I'm long this stock. How do I know when to get out? I, I never catch the top. I always end up getting out after it goes down three or four dollars from the top and I say, oh no, I want to protect what profits I have left or whatever the case is. So we say, how do I know when to get out? Or, um, you know, one way is you trail a stop, meaning, you know, either your broker has the ability to have a trailing stop. So every time the stock moves up a quarter or 50 cents, a dollar, whatever the case is, um, your, your stop moves up and it stays there. So you can never go down below that level. Uh, but the other way is people just want to know when, how high can it go? And the other thing is for the other reason, how high can it go? Cause I might want to short it up there. Now, shorting stocks at all time highs is a very, very difficult task, but nevertheless, it's just another way to know where that top is and and the way I look at it is um, I've seen for a long long time many many stocks the market is very very symmetrical in cases like this it tends to want to make the same move uh, repeating one after the other so here we get a big up move we go sideways for a few months and then we have another big up move and then where's the top gonna be so here's the way I do it doesn't work every time but it works a lot of the time so it's just something to be aware of something you can put in your toolbox uh, and uh, and just save it for one of those rainy days where you need it so I look for the breakout point so the breakout point is subjective where does a breakout from is it from this point here is it from this point here who knows it, it, it's only you only know really where it was after the fact so here's what I do I pick a spot in the middle okay I'm gonna say the breakout point was about nine bucks all right so we're gonna say nine dollars this stock started to break out you can make a case it was even nine fifty nine seventy five but I'm gonna say it's nine dollars and when this thing started to ramp up all right so it ramped up and it made a high before it started to really consolidate up here at about 15 and a quarter. All right. So $9 to 15 and a quarter. All right. So that's $6.25. It's pretty simple stuff. Watch this. So we consolidate for a few months and now we're ramping up again. So what's going to happen on the upside? Well, we're probably going to go up $6.25 from where? from the low point of the consolidation right so here was the high point where's the low point right here okay that doesn't work every time but this is just a good gauge so you got 16 uh, I'm sorry 1340 right 1340 so you got 1340 and you want to add six and a quarter 1965 I did the math ahead of time 1965 is going to be your upside not necessarily a target uh, but I would look at it more like an area where it's the stock would be more likely than not at that point to stall out. So my whole philosophy is common sense market analysis, right? So this is one of those things. I've seen this thing work out hundreds of times over the years. I didn't play them hundreds of times. I'm just saying I've, I've seen the charts hundreds of times look like this if not more, if not thousands of times. I've seen it on a 10-minute chart. I've seen it on a 60-minute, weekly, hourly. It doesn't matter, uh, daily. Um, so, so what I'm saying is because of that, okay, I'm going to be aware of what's going on when we get to 1965. Did we spike up on volume? Do we have a reversal signal at 1965? exactly what happens does it punch through 20 put in a topping signal and reverse back down and that's an area where I might say is there a trade ahead so these are the thing or if I'm long I'm gonna trail the stop and when we get up to that area I'm gonna tighten the stop I'm gonna bring it up uh, you know maybe within a dollar maybe within 50 cents maybe within 25 cents who knows it's up to the individual trader or an investor what you do at those points I'm giving you 
an opportunity to say, hey, this is something that I may not have thought of before, and it's something that I might want to take notice of because, yeah, if I look at, if I just look at 50 or 100 charts and I look at all different time frames, you know how many times you're going to see this? You're going to start to see it, and you're going to say, yeah, David was right. It happens all the time. So it's just something to look at. It's something to be aware of. And uh, hopefully you put it to good, good use. I'm David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com.